Welcome back to the Rita Panahi Show. Joining me now from New York is author, broadcaster and relationship expert, Rabbi Shmuley Botaic. Rabbi, thank you so much for your time. Let's start with one of the best comics working today, Dave Chappelle. He's funny as well as insightful, but he has sparked outrage in some quarters with accusations that his monologue on Saturday Night Live was... Uh, normalising anti-Semitism. Now, in the opener, he was referring to the Kanye West saga. Let's have a look, and I'm interested in your take on whether this is anti-Semitic or comedy. Before I start tonight, I just wanted to read a brief statement that I prepared. <laughs> I denounce anti-Semitism in all its forms. <laughs> and I stand with my friends in the Jewish community. <laughs> and that, Kanye, is how you buy yourself some time. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, I've probably been doing this uh, 35 years now. And early in my career, I learned that there are two words in the English language that you should never say together in sequence. And those words are the and juice. <laughs> I've never heard someone do good after they said that. Rabbi, I thought it was funny. I don't think what we saw there is glorifying anti-Semitism or normalizing it, but I'll defer to your judgment. Jews have a sense of humor. Uh, I saw it live. It was hilarious. My wife and I were cracking up. Dave Chappelle is not an anti-Semite. <laughs> Jews can take a joke. We have to always distinguish between true racism, bigotry, anti-Semitism, and just humor. Now, Kanye West had every opportunity to repudiate the disgusting, vile things he said about Jews that feeds into every anti-Semitic trope that has led to so much violence against Jews. We're bloodsuckers, we're leeches, we're parasites. He just keeps on digging uh, deeper into that anti-Semitic pit. But Chappelle was kind of making fun of it, and he's being pilloried for that monologue on Saturday Night Live when America actually does need a good laugh. Let's not cry wolf mm. by which we would degrade real anti-Semitism. Absolutely. That is such an important point. And it's as true for racism as well. When people call things that are clearly not racist, racist, it really cheapens the real legitimate cases of racism. Um, but the fact Dave Chappelle has gone against this entire woke orthodoxy. He's challenged the excesses of the trans movement. He's challenged the notion that every Trump supporter must be racist. Well, that's seen him um, attacked. Uh, but, and Saturday Night Live was also attacked, saying that he shouldn't be guest host. Uh, but this is a man, Rabbi, who, along with Ricky Gervais, is probably the leading comic geniuses of his generation. Uh, look, Rita, you know, we in the United States are so divided along partisan lines that all we do is hate each other, attack each other. We all need to laugh together. In fact, laughter is one of the great bombs. It's one of the great remedies to hatred. It's where you don't take yourself so seriously. I want to to do our utmost to purge society of racism, bigotry. But when we take it to an extreme that a comic can no longer have an edge, that a comic can no longer say kind of somewhat incendiary jokes that makes people laugh at themselves, then we're going to create such a serious kind of 1984 society with Big Brother watching us over every single comment that it, it, it's going to breed a, a, almost like a, a mental health crisis, which we're already in, because people will be afraid that every comment is something for which they can be attacked. There is real racism. Mm. There is real anti-Semitism. Kanye West is a real anti-Semite. David Chappelle is not. 